Hi everyone, this is Dari from Netcloud for All. So today I want to show you the how can to configure the OSPF uh, routing protocol with the, some notes as well. So I will uh, try to show you some simple lab for the OSPF configuration. Let's get started. Power on one, two, one computer and another computer. Connected together. Zero is zero. Zero one with the zero one. I'm going to use this network 192.168.10.0 slash 24 and this network is slash 24 as well by this one and this network it will be 30. Config T, host R1, interface F0 slash 0, IP address 10, sorry, 192.168.10.1, no shutdown. Interface F0 slash 1, IP address 20. Dot. Router 1 finish, the router 2. No host R2 interface F0 slash 1 IP address 20.2. No shutdown interface F0 slash 0. It will be 30.1. .1. No shutdown as well. Let me check. Okay, show IP route. So I have 10 and 20. I'm going to use now what? OSPF. Config T router OSPF 1. Again, 1 is considered what? Process ID. Process ID. Enter. Net work 192.168.10.0. Incomplete comment. What you need? Question mark. They need something they call wild card. Okay, so I just follow 000.255. Incomplete comment. Question mark. They need what? They need area. So I just put it area, then keep going with the zero. Okay, so we just go with the zero. Enter. Network 20. Also zero, then I save the configuration. So another side, same configure, config T, router, OSPF 1. I just need to discuss with you about the process ID. Can I put it here 100 or 200? It's going to communicate between them, yes. So why? What the story behind this? Again, this number they call a process ID or the number for the database, fine. Okay, if the router one, they have a one database, whatever, any number for a process ID, number one, 50, whatever, mean router one, they have only one database. And router two, they have also one database, maximum. So the number is not important. You can put it 100, 200, whatever, because here maximum one database, here maximum one database. But if you have a more than one database for each router, please follow the number. The number it will be very important and then me i mean the process id it will be very important but right now i put it 100 no problem over there i put it one right okay so i just say net 192.168.20.0 area oh, sorry 255 area zero then i go to put it what 30 then immediately I receive updating or loading done, mean that 
routing is succeed show IP route you can see 30 is comes up even the process ID is different why because router 1 and router 2 maximum is one database only okay so how can to see this process ID show IP OSPF database enter you can see the number here for the ID what well, the process ID hundred okay so means actually this is the database for OSPF this is means the database for OSPF okay so this is hundred means only one database if I have more than one I can see it's the same instance two or three time with a different different IP or different different ID or a process ID so can I check over there the routing as well from here show IP OSPF uh, database you can see here it is a process ID one no problem they can communicate between each other without any problem uh, this is the OSPF basic configuration and show IP route you can see here the IP route here by default you can see O and this is the destination D administrative distance okay and number two what uh, the question here the metrics for OSPF what 100,000 divided bandwidth again 100,000 divided bandwidth can I check show interface f0 slash 1 what my bandwidth here 100,000 right 100,000 divide 100,000 how much 1 right how about another side also show interface f0 slash 1 how much the bandwidth over here 100,000 as well so again 100,000 divide 100,000 how much 1 so 1 plus 1 2 so this means show IP route I can see the metrics or I can see the cost this is they call cost in OSPF is number two okay why one the result from formula from the router one and router two is one so total how much it will be to the cost this is overall for the OSPF configuration and thank you so much for watching and see you later for another class thank you